Take one. It was a scary thing to do, but it was the right thing to do, and I'll always be proud of it. I've been editing since high school, you know, VHS to VHS. What I love about the editing profession is that I've made something that somebody could watch, and at the end of the day, I've built something. I love to create. I love taking this big pile of footage and just really kind of digging in and finding the story. I love making people cry. <laughs> I love bringing out people's emotions. The privilege of making these stories come to life is really what drives me. The assistant editors are the ones who really do all of the technical work. We're the ones who keep the wheels moving. The assistant editors, they're kind of the first and last front in post-production. We're all talented people that know how to make television. Just because you know how to push the buttons doesn't make you an editor any more than me knowing how to use a typewriter makes me a writer. There is a craft and an art to what we do. It's our years and years of experience doing this stuff that makes us valuable. We all get to do what we love for a living, but the downside is that everyone's freelance and you don't get those normal securities that you would in a nine to five job. I absolutely love my work, but it's, it's secondary to the people at home. As much as I love editing, I would rather be hanging out with my five-year-old. We need a realistic work week, hours that we can be guaranteed that we can see our families and see our kids before they go to bed. You want to do good work, but you also don't want to spend your entire life at work. We work really hard in this industry. We deserve to get a fair wage. We deserve to get health care. We deserve to have a retirement plan. I mean, wanting a pension in healthcare is not something I think is a luxury. As a skilled employee, I'm not afraid to stand up for myself and say I'm worth that. I was hired as an editor on a non-union show, Swamp People. Hot set. Face off. Naked and afraid. Last comic standing. We all got together, the editorial crew, had some conversations. And we're wondering, well, why shouldn't this be a union show? We all had to come together in solidarity first. I was initially reluctant. I went from kind of naysaying the whole union thing to kind of being vocal about it because maybe this was the way to get that company to respect all of us. We all decided as a post-production unit that we wanted change in the company and change in our, our work environment. We knew what the benefits could be and we agreed to strike. But when that phone call finally comes, and you know that it's going to happen. The heart starts racing, you know, boom, 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 boom. It's essentially everyone, you know, emerges from their editing room at the same time, kind of shuffling towards the door, going, all right, here we go, let's do this. I'll never forget that day, I really won't. It was all really new to me, but it was empowering. It was empowering to grab that sign and get out there. Walking the picket line was scary, but I think it was important that all of us showed the company how serious we were. When you get together, and you collectively decide something, the power that you have, it's huge. They were definitely in a bad spot. They had deliveries to be made, they had cuts to get out to the network, and suddenly they weren't gonna have anything. We had some leverage. They had to negotiate. Episodes weren't being finished, and with that air schedule, they had to make some decisions, and we forced that hand. Editors are way more badass than people give them credit for. I remember very vividly when we were coming into the sixth day of the strike, and I remember looking at my phone and getting that email saying that we won. I screamed yes at the top of my lungs, and I started crying. And it worked. I mean, it was amazing. We reached an agreement, so that was great. We got a contract. My pay went up. I started earning about six or seven hundred dollars more a week. The night assistant editor almost doubled his pay. We got overtime paid that we would otherwise have been expected to just donate to the production. Vacation and holiday pay. Night premiums. We immediately started accruing hours towards our benefits. Health care, amazing health care. I cannot talk enough about the health care. I have health insurance now, thanks to the union. Qualifying for medical insurance is saving me pretty close to $10,000 a year. It's like a weight has been lifted. Since we had our baby, we've had union benefits. It's been amazing. I mean, I don't think the birth cost us the a dollar. When you go through such an intense event with a, a certain group of people, it's a real emotional thing. There was definitely a tangible bond between the entire post staff after 
the strike. It takes a lot of guts. It's a big event in your life. It made us better colleagues. It made us work better as a unit. This made people's lives better. This made my friends' lives better. This made my life better. When I first started working, I didn't think that I could afford a family. So by having a better wage and health care, I could really do all those things that people imagine, you know, the American dream. To stand up for what you know to be right, that's the best feeling in the world. That's better than a pizza at 8 o'clock at night when somebody's trying to get you to work extra hours. The faster we all do this, the better it's going to be for you as a career. Go Union. Do it now. If people think that there aren't a lot of union jobs out there, then they should flip their shows. If you really believe that we deserve more, then stand up and take your turn. Let's come together, let's flip some shows, and let's turn this industry back around to where it used to be.